to retain the girl's scent. Kevin smeared animal fat all over her body, and then wrapped the body in a tarp. After the oil has completely absorbed the fragrance of the body, he then uses a machete to scrape the oil off the surface of the skin, extrudes the oil from the cloth and hair, and then mixes the oil into a paste with pure water, and finally puts it in a pot for distillation and purification. In this way, the first bottle of perfume containing the fragrance of the girl's body is made. In order to fill 13 bottles of perfume, Kevin becomes the town's killing machine. More and more teenage girls are being killed, whether it is a girl walking on the street, or a nun. As long as he likes the body smell, the girls are mercilessly killed. Late into the night, Kevin sneaks into the girl's room. As soon as he swung the stick, the girl turned her head. He paused. Although the girl is very beautiful and moving, it cannot stop his determination to make body incense. It was not until the next day that the village chief came to the room and found his daughter dead. At this point Kevin has distilled the 13th bottle of perfume, but before he could get excited, a group of soldiers caught him. Kevin was tortured. As he was being led to the execution like a dog, he opened one of the perfumes. The guard's attitude reversed 180 degrees in an instant. Then Kevin is dressed in a gorgeous costume and arrives at the execution site in the king's seat. The people before him knelt down to him as if they had met a great king. The executioner on the stage dropped his instruments and knelt before him. 